G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, uh, we're going to go kind of browny, caramelly tones for the Laramie effect. I am using my fine Life Edge Coaster Mold today. And I am pouring alongside a lovely lady by the name of Kelly. Hi Kelly, she's in Washington. I oh, know, we're pouring simultaneously. We've been chatting about colours. We're using the same colours, everything. She also did the... Um, the Larimar course, the Let's um, uh, Resin.com. That's it, Resin.com. Um, I'll put the link below. Anyway, we're both doing it, so yay! And then afterwards, we'll see how we go. So we are going to do, these are the Octopus inks. They're not the Octopus alcohol inks, they're Octopus resin inks. So espresso and papaya, or papaya. So we're going to go two drops of espresso. We may change it. We'll see. I mean, I don't know what she's doing, but because you know, I've started. Um, that wrong one. Put that one down. Okay. Two drops of espresso, two drops of papaya. It's kind of like a orange, dark orangish kind of color. And uh, onyx. Now, when you're doing your black, you have to be really careful. You can't just pour the whole drop in because it's... It's really strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a toothpick and just cover your mold. <laughs> I'm just going to pop a drop on my toothpick and I'm going to put that in and mix that in. And I'm going to see how that goes first, okay, before I add any more. You can always add a little bit more. All right, let's see how this color goes. So this is going to be our dark. You need a dark, you need a light, and you need a, um, the white. I personally haven't been using the clear anymore. Um, I just find it works this way for me. Okay, so that's really quite blackish. So I'm not going to add any more black to it. Um, I think I'm going to put in another drop of the espresso, though. So basically, I've just got a dark brown. <laughs> It's basically a dark brown. This Kelly, it was Kelly's idea to do the um, papaya and the espresso. And I said to her, you add those two together, you're going to get a light brown, really, and then you're adding a drop of black, which is fine. Um, so it's just like a, a brownish, I don't know, can you see that sort of tone? I might add another papaya, actually. So that's three of each. Kelly, I've done three of each and it tiny little bit of black. Let me change this on the notes. Three, three, and half a drop of black. Okay, so it looks really dark in there. And then that's the kind of color you get from that. So that's that one. And then my light is going to be butterscotch. Now I'll start with four. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I already need five. Oh, six went in. Oh, six went in. Oh my gosh. As long as it's a nice light-ish colour. And see the yellowy tones always tend to be a little bit lighter than say your blues and greens. I find the yellow tones always a little bit lighter. So that's it there. All right, so I'm gonna go with that. Hopefully that'll be pretty. And then I've got this glitter to go in it. It's sort of got sort of goldish, orangish, brownish <laughs> and it's um pdb creative studio this one's called jupiter so i'm going to use that but i'm not going to put that in until after everything's moved and closed up okay my white is the casting craft um it's just you can see through the stick it's really quite transparent so that's that's that one all right here we go let's do this pouring the white in i am using my platinum ultra clear resin because it just works it just works every time as long as you've got your ratios right it just works every time i have tried a few other resins uh they didn't work so i haven't put the videos up but uh, yeah they didn't work this is the only one i found that works now i am going to just coat my sides as well with the white just because i like to do that don't know if it makes any difference or not I'm going to give that a little bit of a tap, 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 just to see if I can dislodge any bubbles that may be sort of stuck on the bottom of the mould. And here we go with our dark. 
still don't know whether that's actually dark, dark enough for my liking. Hmm. See, even I'd second guess myself sometimes. I do. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with another espresso. One more. I didn't have very much black. Like I had, you know, you saw the tiny little tip of a toothpick. So this probably wasn't enough black. If you're using a bigger pop stick like that and you dip it into your black paste, you get a lot more. So that's that one. Still looks quite dark, doesn't it? All right, let's just go with it. If you make it too dark, uh, your white on the other side will just be all cloudy and not look nice. So be careful you don't make your colours too dark. Still transparent. They have to still be transparent. Don't make them too dark. But they do have to, you have to have a dark, you have to have a light. There's no point having two that are too similar. So there's that one. See how the dark's gone underneath and the white's all coming over the top? That's a good sign. Now this one here basically just looks like yellow, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know what we're going to get from this. I have no idea. All right, here we go. Dump it all in. Don't go from up high. Don't go from slow. Just get the middle and dump. Okay? That's it. We're just dumping. Hopefully that's not going to be too full. I'm going to just push that to the edges like so. If you're not sure exactly how much your mold is going to take and it starts overflowing, don't put a paper towel on it to um, you know suck it up. Just grab yourself a syringe and quickly suck out the middle a little bit. That's the best way to do this. Otherwise, you're going to be starting to change your, your design on the edges and everything. It's looking rather full. Rather full on the edges. I don't know why. <laughs> I did... Um, see, it depends on your mould. Some moulds are deeper than other moulds. This is my Live Edge Fine mould. It's a little bit shallower than the chunky one. Um, and I did mix up 95 grams of part A, 41 grams of part B, so I've got 136 grams. Um, I'm in two minds about whether to, to, here, to suck any out or not. It's, it's doming, that's the only thing, it's doming. All right, now I've got, we'll leave it for now because I'll just see what it does. If it starts to kind of run over the edge, then I'll quickly suck out a few mil from the middle. Um, now the glitter, I'm not going to add that. I've just, I've, I've scraped out my cup, but I've got like a little bit left in there, just a tiny bit. And when this is finished closing in about 40 minutes or so, then I'll mix my glitter and I'll put that in. So, but I will show you when I do that. Um, but let's do a time lapse, the time warp. And um, after that, after it's all moved in, then um, we'll put the glitter in, okay? Just need to torch a few times over the next 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, I will see you at the end. That's what it's looking like now. I'll see you after the time lapse. Enjoy. How was that? Did you enjoy that? So that was 45 minutes or so of recording the time lapse. So let's pop a little bit of this in there. We don't need a lot. And you've got a tiny little hole in the middle there. So just, just a little bit. Looks very yellow, doesn't it? See how the white underneath there has all puffed up? I've just dropped a bit of glitter into it. It's all puffed up. So that's a really good sign. It's it's blooming. I don't know whether I can get that out or not. <laughs> Might just have to stay. Oh, no, I got it. <laughs> uh, all right. So 
I don't know whether this is going to be a good colour match after all because now that I look at it, it's just sort of yellow and brown. So I'm not sure. But I think it'll be quite nice with maybe a copper edge. So I'll do it anyway. It's just you don't know what it's going to be like until you get to this stage and you think, hmm, I wonder, it looks more yellow. Right, now try and just drop that into the centre. There's a nice little gap left there for you, so just drop it into the centre. I don't like to swirl. I mean, I know I have on occasion when I had a big empty centre, I thought I'll just try and swirl it and kind of bring the colour from the outside into the centre. But generally, I don't like to touch it, otherwise you end up destroying those nice puffy cloud-like thingy-majigs <laughs> that you've got there. So I'm just trying to, maybe I can put it tight. Oh, look, I don't like adding a lot of glitter because then you end up with this huge big ball in the middle and I don't tend to like that. So there we go, that'll do. Now let's see if we can push it down. And as I'm pushing it down, I'm kind of going to pull this white in just a little bit. And when I'm lifting up my stick, the white's kind of coming with it. So it's kind of pulling it as well. So we'll just do that. I don't know what that glitter's doing. I can't really see in there anymore. Just poked it in. All right, there you go. So it's basically closed it all up just by me poking it and lifting it up. It's kind of pulled it all in. So that's it. We'll just leave it now. Uh, this particular resin with this technique, because it's quite a, a thick coaster, it'll be cured in about eight hours, which is amazing. Oh, let me get my, oh, I've got my charger on it. <laughs> yeah, so um, you can unmold it relatively quickly. Same day. You know, if you're doing it in the morning, same day, which is amazing. So I've got a few little bubbly boos there because I've just been poking the resin. So let's just torch those. Get rid of those. Did I do it? Resin's quite thick now. So anyway, I don't know whether we'll be able to see much of that glitter. But um, yeah, it's looking good so far. If you look at the edges, you can see there's a tiny, tiny little ring. See all the way around? There's that tiny little ring all the way around of little, little dots of colour. And then they go into those big, darker ones. And then we've got those puffy kind of whitish ones that you can see underneath there so that is all a good sign if yours is looking like this touch wood it's usually a good sign that it's going to work okay so i'll see you guys in um in about eight hours eight seconds for you eight long hours for me right so it has been oh, about eight hours or so and uh, it's time to unmold had a little bit of a little bit of overflow when it started curing because I'm on a piece of perspex here. It started curing and um, getting hot, and then the perspex started sort of bowing <laughs> out like that. So it's kind of run out a little bit, but I can trim that up. Yep, just easy to wipe, you see. So here we go. Okay, now I might just trim these little bits off before we flip her over. Can't see where they are on the other side, but I'll just I'll just trim them a little bit, just like so. I can fix them up later. Because I can't really see, but I can just sort of feel that they're overflowed a little bit. It's funny how that happens, hey? Resin gets hot and heats my board up. All right. I've got a little bit of floating um, glitter there. All right. Oh, I'm expecting to have yellow in the middle because I've got yellow on this side, but 
oh, look, resin does what resin wants to do. And sometimes what you think you're going to get is not what you get. <laughs> All right. Shall we have a look? Shall we have a look? Here we go. Oh, it's really pretty. I have got some yellow in there. I probably didn't need to put that copper in there. See the copper? <laughs> I probably didn't need to put that in there. I was thinking about it afterwards. Wouldn't it have been really pretty with one of my little bumblebees in the centre? That is so cool. I have never done those colours before. It's pretty. What do you think? Do you like those colours or not so much? So because I've got the gold in there, it would be nice, I think, to have the gold around the outside. And because I've got like the copper in the centre, I wonder if it might look nice with this one. This is my chrome marker. This is the copper. It doesn't actually say. I think this is actually the gold, although it looks like copper. Is that the copper? Um, no, no, this is the gold. You can't tell until you've got them next to each other. That's the gold and that's the copper. Go with the I'll go with the copper actually, just to pick up the little bits of copper in the centre. What do you think? What do you reckon? Do you think that would look nice? There we go. We kind of centred there. I don't know. It's it's like a coppery gold. It's not a true. It's not a true copper like this copper, which is much darker. It's it is a goldy copper, so I think it'll look all right. Let's just do it. And, you know, you don't have to do this. By all means, you don't have to do this. I just just like to do it on some of my pieces. And I think this is kind of going to be a halfway between copper and gold, which the centre has got some copper and gold in it as well. So that's why I'm sort of thinking it might look nice. So half on the edge, half on the side. And just a little bit of a little bit of definition there, eh? What do you think of that? Does that look pretty? I think it looks pretty. <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> uh, all right, let's have a look at it with the light behind it. Okay, get the shimmer. I think that's a nice choice for the edges. Now tell me what you think of the white in the centre. Oh gosh, hang on, you zoomed in too much. Let me just change that. Mm, put you on two. Gosh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> All right. See how the, the centre's got quite a bit of white in it? What do you think of that? Sometimes they get a lot of white puffiness in the middle, like that, on the other side, and sometimes I don't. I haven't quite worked out exactly what it's from yet. Just walk up here and see what it is. So it looks like without those lights on it. But it's, yeah, I was definitely getting yellow and we're getting brown. Um, that um, papaya, the reddish one, it's gone, skis. It just, just, just vanished. I probably didn't do very much of it, I guess. But yeah, it's just gone. So anyway, let me know what you think of this one. And um, yeah, I think you get different effects with different colours. I think it does make a difference as well as to which colours you use. So there you go. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will take a little video of it outside tomorrow because it's late now. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.